Mobbing the bitch and smoking moon. Hey, Rob. Hey, pocket full of motherfucking blue. Blue. Guap. Guap. All right, guys. This is the first time that we put fuel on the SEMO build. We got it cleaned up yesterday. Real nice. It's on empty right now. Frank was telling me that we can't fill it up for SEMO, bro. What's the deal? So whenever you go to any convention shows, they only want it a quarter full, so we can't put too much fuel because of fire hazards and things of that nature. You even got to unplug the battery. Oh, you got to do all that? Yeah. Well, you're supposed to. This is kind of sketchy, bro. I don't know. I know. That's what I was saying. There it is. Fill it up for the first time. It's a hassle. It's not that easy, like just get out the truck, pop the little door open, and just fucking click it on the highest and get on the truck. You gotta be gentle with it, you know what I mean? Work everything. Yeah. So we're gonna put like, what, 20, 30 bucks? Give or take, yeah. I remember when I was younger, bro, I never had a full tank, bro, never. Did you ever get stranded? Yeah, a couple of times, yeah. I only put like 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Back in the day, with $30, you could fill up a truck, bro. I don't know about now. No, right now, it's, the 450 is like 130, 140. Let's see. Did you get that Yeah, you're good. You got half. What's half? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's more than enough. Uh, let me close it out. With the small fuel cell, or it still runs to the same fuel tank? Uh, is there a fuel cell or box? There is a fuel cell in the back. So back in the day, I would just put five, ten bucks to go to high school. And I was always running out of gas. It was a thing, bro. It was a thing just to do. Just run out of gas. It was cool. It's cool. Get a nice picture. Full cool shop today. Cool shop. Tiny's here. Tiny showed up out of nowhere. If anybody cares, Tiny's here. Without a haircut, you go, I feel like cooking some fajitas. So, ¿a qué lo tienes a la verga? Desde la mañana me dijo, ¿a qué lo vas a llegar? Porque voy a prender el bote. Oh. Today's a very exciting day, not only because we're going to SEMO, but because I bought a truck, I bought a new ride. I miss the OGs. Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 I miss the OG so much that I bought another SS clone just like it, All Star. It kind of looks like the Gaps, but it's in blue. That you dropped it off today, my boy Tony shows up, he's like, what's up with the truck, bro? I was like, hey, bro, if you want the truck, you need a truck. If you want the truck, you can buy it off of me. He said, fuck it, I'm taking that bitch. So, Tiny, go show me your new truck, bro. Nah, not right now. Not right now. Está bien, motherfucker. Está perra. Ya sabrás, Tiny, para que saques la pelona por la orilla y seguir por todas las pensas. ¡Ay! Abriendo el que me acoge. Ah, sí, trae sangre, bro. Ya chingas. Ahí está, ir a salsita y todo. With the sway. What you gotta say, Tiny? You know, when you're married, it gets complicated, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, guys, here it is. So, it's actually the same light, right? Yeah, the same design. It's the same design, so we ended up putting two new lights. Whenever we bought the Holly truck, it came with these lights, and then we took them off the Holly because they didn't look good. And I put them on this one because this one's a little bit more wild than the other one. But luckily, my boy here, RZ Lights, hooked us up with a new set of tail lights for the truck. Right, let's turn them on. Oh, yeah. Hello, no hala. Yes, sir. There you go. Oh, this thing is kind of ready for SEMA. Big shout out to my boy, Space City Metal Polishing. This actually looks pretty good, bro. He ended up polishing the wheels yesterday and then he did the pipes too. So it gives it another look. Hopefully whenever we turn it on and we're doing a burnout, this thing gets like purple and we won't do it on this one. I don't know if we'll do it. It'll look like the titanium look yes. when it's all burning stuff. Yeah, yeah, this is not titanium. This is just the regular. Right, that's the thing. Yeah. I don't think it would do but, it. But I mean, it looks a lot cooler. We're here at the shop. We're almost getting ready to load this thing up. We're just waiting on my boy RC likes to install our tail lights on this one. And then after that, we're just gonna wait on Tiny so he can finish cooking. And then we're gonna eat, we're gonna load them up. Let's talk about this truck right here. I miss the OG so much that I had to buy me another one. And uh, luckily my boy Juan Savala was building this one and he offered it to me. And I was like, I can't pass up on the SS clone. So we ended up getting this one. It just got dropped off today, all the way from Oklahoma. I know he just repainted the whole truck. It has a nice bed liner in the back. Full Intimidator interior dash, cluster, seats, center console. Look at this nice steering wheel, bro. This is nice, 40, huh? That's yeah, 40, yes. This is a 2004. Look at the door panels, a little bit of suede here. You know, it has suede headliner. And the cool thing about this one, it has a original sunroof. So when they're aftermarket, they pop out. This one doesn't pop out. This one actually is flush, yes. 
Super Sport all the way, chrome wheels, you know, nice Calhoun 04. It's actually a real, real, real clean truck. We got it. Tiny pulled up today. I was like, Tiny, you always wanted an SS. If you want to, bro, you can buy it off him for a real cheap price for what I got it for. But he's thinking about it too much, bro. I don't know. He needs to jump on it. I mean, Tiny has a high standard for himself now, and this is the perfect truck. Yes. Porque hace que bien vergas. Yeah. Yeah, no, he don't want to get on Little Larry no more. He's like, nah, fuck that. I'm not getting on that piece of shit. Bro, it's a badass cagalera truck. You get on that bitch, you can do some burnouts. If you hit the wall, you hit the wall. If it catches on fire, it catches on fire. Of course, you don't want to do it on a nice truck like this, but on Lil Larry, you can do it, but he was like, nah, this, this, and that. I'm tiny ODG. I need a better truck. Well, here it is. Opportunities like this don't come too often. So if he doesn't buy it, I bought it because I'm gonna give it away. So yes, this is a future giveaway. Of course, we gotta fix it up a little bit here and there. We need to fix the cab corners. We need to probably put a little sound system, maybe a little cam, maybe some nitrous, maybe some different wheels. I don't like the chrome wheels. If we keep it, we will do the gray wheels, kind of like the gap truck and then a different tire because this tire is no good. But it's a real nice truck, real clean. Like I said, the pockets are shaved up on that one. I mean, it has the little nice 2003-2004 spoiler on the tailgate. I actually have this one on the gas as well. It already came with the on the gas sticker too. I mean, I bought it to give it away, you know? We need to go back to the valley, bro, check on the OG. We need to go check on the OG, and we also need to check on the sound truck. Roberto yes. started working on that one. It was supposed to make it OTM, but it crept up on him, and then he's making some progress on it. Yes, yes, so we need to go over there, talk to Roberto, and see what's up with the sound truck, and go visit Mr. Gaps. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully the truck's already painted looks like we're gonna finish it over there in the valley i already got juanillo from ignite he's gonna be installing the motor on that truck and the pro charger and other good stuff but this is a new purchase that we did today it actually got delivered today my boy tiny was just here coincidence that the truck got here he was like hey man it's a nice truck i was like bro if you want it you can get it you know what i mean just pay me what i pay for it and we're good to go i mean it's already done bro you don't have to paint it you don't have to drop it you don't have to look for a body kit I mean, everything's here. The interior's already there, and it's a real good price. So let's hope Tiny gets it. If he doesn't get it, we'll give it away. So, I mean, I'm sure you guys don't want Tiny to get it because we can give it away. One of you guys can take this home, but I really want Tiny to have a truck. I can't give it to him just because it's expensive. Yeah, it's not like Perillo's truck that's like five, 6,000 bucks. This is actually a whole lot more. Yes. And I'm pretty sure all the Tiny fans are gonna want him to have it. So comment down below. We need to cheer up Tiny. We need to cheer we him up. pump him up. We need to pump him up. He really likes it, but I don't know what's holding him back, bro. I really don't. That's just, I don't know what's holding him back. But let's go talk to Tiny and see what's the issue, what's the problem. There's always a solution. When you have problems, there's always a solution. Except death. There's no solution after that. Yeah. But if you're good, if you're alive and you're healthy and you got a little problem, don't let that get to you. There's always a solution to everything. Never stop the hustle, never stop grinding. Let's go talk to Tiny. Ya, ella lleva como cuatro aguacates, güey. I know. Ya, tranquilo. Your sweat is falling on that. No, I ain't sweating on it. Your sweat is falling off, and that's why it's so salty. Tiny season. Tiny season. Available pretty soon at onthegas.com. <laughs> What'd you say? Available pretty soon at onthegas.com. So, I have all your fans, bro, because you got a bunch of fans. We got all the fans commenting down below. Tiny needs to get a new truck. What should the hashtag be? Tiny SS. Everybody wants Tiny to be riding clean in that truck. Comment down below, Tiny SS. Or SS Tiny. SS Tiny. SS Tiny. SS Tiny. SS -tiny. SS -tiny. SS -tiny. And bro, imagine you pimping that bitch, pulling up to OTM or to the track. No? I don't want nobody saying give it to him because I'm not going to give it to him. I understand. For the I price. can give you little Larry back. <laughs> you keep that one. Yeah, see, he don't want it. <laughs> he doesn't want he don't that want truck. It. He don't want it because he's like, oh, I'm tiny on the gas. I can't be driving that piece of shit. It's not that. It's just I don't want to put money into that one. Yeah, I don't want to put money into something. No, that's enough. That's enough. You already mixed it too much. It gets to be creamy when you mix it. Yes, I'm thinking about it for multiple factors. Well, there's other priorities right now that I need to take care of before I go to that. Before you commit yourself to something. Correct. So, I mean, the truck for the price that Beto's giving it to me is a good deal. I mean, it's a deal that I won't ever probably find again. But like I said, there's other things that I'm committed to right now that I need to take care of before that. Just the timing is not the right time. And, I mean, when you're married, you gotta go talk to your other half. No. What a little bitch, so. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted you to say that, bro, because. <laughs> I know you did. You were like, he was waiting for that you moment. We talking all that mm. shit on here, on YouTube. Talking about tiny approved, tiny this, tiny approved that. Bro, you don't even have approval of your own self, bro. 
Mm -hmm. So we're pulling up to some restaurants in the valley with the big ass sign talking about tiny approved, bro. I'm trying to approve. The food's good. You're not even approved yourself. How can you get that approved, authority? I am approved, but it's different in certain circumstances. That's all I'm gonna say. It's different in certain circumstances. Some people might be able to relate. Some might not. Others. But it's just the way it is. No matter what, it's mandilong. Nah, I'm not mandilong. Fuck no. Yo no sé nada. Tú fui. Tú abriste todo. Mira nomás, le vamos a dar de comer aquí a toda la clica porque ya nos vamos para Las Vegas. Go pick up the tires because you know we fixing to make some noise down at the hoonigan burnout pit presented by ebay motors at las vegas at sema doesn't get any better than that you're gonna catch your boys from on the gas out there as always you know how we do we do big things i know you guys ain't seen me in a while but i'm here you know I me mean? i'm ready to party unfortunately i won't be making my way to vegas because i have responsibilities and have to work so For real. Take off, bro. One of the four, they got big ass turning rigs. Yeah, we have that. I hope 
de llorar estar muerto. Está ¿Ya le quitaron el short? No, ahorita se lo quitamos. Por güey. Yo que tú me aguanto. Que andamos rosa batallando con Alex que no hace caso. ¿Cómo ves tú, Guacala? Dos horas bañándose, no, sabrá Dios que. Y la vamos a check a shower. One hour. Vamos a check a shower at my house. He lives like. ¿Qué? Ten minutes. Ten minutes max. Like, not even ten no, minutes. No, no. Ten minutes is too much. I think he was showering outside <laughs> with the rainwater. <laughs> oh, fuck it. No. Now it's raining. These guys were supposed to take off. And now it's raining, so now. The rain's coming from north. You act like we weren't gonna get it. Ayer, hey, a las siete. Tú dijiste, a las siete nos vamos a ir. Tú dijiste, no va a llover, pa que le ponen la tarde. No va a llover. No va a llover. En el camino no va a llover. Yo no sé de qué iba a llover ahorita. Es que tú estás real. Tampoco. Si no hubiéramos ido, no hubiéramos agarrado agua. Fácil. It's coming from the north. We would have hit it. Dos horas. You're not going north. I was putting my my maleta. No, la maleta. La maleta y después no cabió todo, so I have to switch to another, another bag. Two hours. Ah, that seems about right. Right? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just tired of looking at Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Such a curveball. <laughs> tired of looking at this dog. Like, I haven't seen this guy in so many days, and I just go back to work, bro. You ain't buying shit. You ain't buying no trucks. You ain't doing nothing. So just go back to work, bro. It's not special. Oh, it's for today. It's past 12, bro. What time is it? Yeah, it's a new day. No, you're going to buy it as you want. That was a steal. You're going to buy it, Tiny. So, with that being said, we had a little barbecue out here for the team. We're getting ready to go to SEMA, of course. Go out there and put a show for you guys. If you're in the area or you're going to be out in SEMA, I don't know what time these guys are going to hit the burnout pit, but they're going to be out there. I think the burnout pit, what is it? Yeah, I think it's from Tuesday all the way to Friday, but we'll be there Thursday and Friday. So if you want to see the On The Gas crew out there, you're going to see us out there with Lil Easy, Takashi. You'll be able to see the 2020 build that Fat Fabs did for us at the Spider Headlights booth for SEMA. Shout out to them. They came through, they provided the lights for the truck. It looks real cool, real sick. Check it out out there. Check out the crew out there. Not everybody's going, but we are gonna have some people down there. Unfortunately, I can't make it. I gotta work, gotta take care of business. It is what it is. Make sure you swing by SEMA. And we got some more exciting stuff going on in this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that bell notification. Be one of the first to view the videos. And we also have Truck Nationals happening January 28th at Houston Raceway Park. That is an all racing event, all trucks. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna drop a flyer pretty soon. We're gonna drop the rules and the payouts pretty soon. We're working on all that logistics for that. And something that's popping off right now that you gotta take advantage of. Right now, for these seven days, this week that we got going on, the special is Sunday. So all this week, you purchase this decal right here, this little truck sticker, at onthegas.com, and it's gonna double your entry. So instead of 30, you're gonna get 60 entries. That's a hell of a deal. Make sure you go to onthegas.com, get your entries in. One of you lucky guys is gonna take the truck home. And and if you don't want to take the truck home, we have a $25,000 cash option. So you win in both ways. Say you don't like the truck, you're a Ford man or whatever, choose the $25,000 cash option. Take the risk. You could be one of the lucky winners. Remember, seven days, Sunday ends the special, the 60 entry special. After that, we're gonna go back to the regular. You'll be able to purchase this sticker and it's gonna give you 30 entries. We also have some sick ass shirts coming. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna drop the shirts. We'll see when we drop them. You know, we're gonna surprise you guys. It's some sick shirts. I designed them myself personally. Uh -huh. Boy, if you don't stop. Nah, there's some sick shirts. So stay tuned for that. Go get your entries in because the end of this giveaway is November 13th. And one of you guys is going to take the truck home. And also, the way we do our giveaways is live. So don't fall for those scams, whether they comment or send you something through social media or whatever. All our giveaways are done live and we do them in person and we give you a call. So stay tuned for that. But for this video, we out. We got the Talladega Night crew. Shake and bake, bake, baby. baby. So we got Rick and Bobby here for Talladega Nights. And we got a, you know, I don't know what the other guy's name. I'm Ricky Bobby. If you don't chew big red, then f you. But they go shake and bake all the way because you already know they're really shaking and baking the whole way. Oh, mm. oh wow. <laughs> nah, so with that being said, we out. See ya.